Hey guys, Bing here. Um, yesterday we started this uh, structure roof structure. So, so this one. Today we're going to add all the buttons in it. Okay, so let's start. So for, uh, first, open this family. Uh, I, I, I will upload this family so we can download this fam uh, this family, and then tab select. So this is part. Uh, one of the um, curtain panel pattern base family and then edit family. So, okay, so tem temporarily hold it HH. So, we are going to um, place some patterns along the base uh, reference, reference lines. Okay, so first tab select this one. Um, I'm going to divide part. Uh, so six, six is one. Tab select one. This one six as well. Okay, and then I'm going to um, select these two points and create a reference line. So let's do it again. Two points line reference line, and now on this one. Divide power six. This one divide power six. So um, now we can place um, place the buttons on here. So go back to oh sorry here. Go back to this roof structure because previously we did. If you tap select this one, this edge. So this is a generic model adaptive. So edit family. So you can see that's two point adaptive family. So we can use this as a a, bat, a timber pattern. Okay, so load this into this curtain panel family and place it here to here. So now let's try select 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 it the plate. So good. Let's create create another one. So here to here select. Repeat. So sometimes when this happens, just we need to create another one, and then select both of them. Repeat. So now we're good. So also I'm going to select all these divided path here. It's a number. I'll create a a number parameter and. Uh, Okay, okay, so now let's try the 5007. Oops, 8, 9. Hmm. Let's see if we can fix this. So, um, let's try second land. No, doesn't doesn't. Hmm. No, I have no idea. <laughs> anyway, let's try. Let's let's try to do it again. Okay, create an out, create here, and see if I can repeat it. No. Hmm. Seven. Maybe. Hang on. Maybe I can do is. Change the direction, maybe flip direction, and I'll place this again and see if I can repeat. Yes. So, okay, good. So, um, now I understand why the first one I can just pick one and repeat, and the second one won't because the direction of this divided part. Okay, so good. So now let's try the number again. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so um, actually I'm going to use a smaller number so so I can I can up so I can up uh, uh, update this value uh, faster. So 
Okay, so let's do this this bit. Um, actually, I'll just quickly do it. Um, I'll maybe just I'll leave it. I'll leave it for t uh, today. Today, um, we we just did this, and we understand how to make it work. Because sometimes the direction of this develop path, the direction of the develop path will um affect the way we place this component. Okay, so um, I'll load this into this family, and we probably need to wait for a couple minutes. I'll pause it. So now we have this one. Good. So let's try. Um, I'll actually try edit type and uh, see that number here. Um, maybe I'll try a slightly bigger number. So here we go. Nice. Um, yep. So I think that's that's it for today. So we just play some button using adaptive family and divided path. And tomorrow, um, so because let's have a look at this image. So see, tomorrow we are going to place a panel. So this will be an operable panel, and you can close it and open it. So that's for tomorrow. Okay. So that's it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.